guys, so as you can tell by the title below, today I'm going to be doing my closet tour. And instead of filming an intro, I'm just going to like skip into the video because it's kind of self-explanatory. So these are my two closet doors. If you guys have not seen my room tour, I will link that in the description below. Also, thumbs up this video if you guys want to see an updated room tour because I've been thinking about doing one lately. So just on this side of the door, I have my two towels, and a lot of you guys wonder why I keep my towels in my room, and it's mostly because my brothers don't understand that you shouldn't use other people's towels, so they always end up using mine. So I just ended up putting mine in my room, and they match my room, so it's totally cool with me if they're in here. And then on this side of my closet, I have my backpack, and obviously I'm on winter break, so that's been hanging there for like the last week and a half. I haven't even touched it, haven't even looked at it. So now I will go ahead and open the doors and show you what it looks like inside. So here's what my closet looks like when it is open. I'll just give you kind of like a little bit of an overview. And then I will start from the top down. Sorry guys, it's so dark. I can't get good lighting in here. Basically up here, all I have is stuffed animals that have really big sentimental value to me or like meaning. So I just keep those forever like... Literally, I had so many stuffed animals growing up, and I got rid of a lot of them, so <laughs> this is as many as I've kept. To me, that's pretty good. I have a couple of little stuffed animals over there as well. Then these are all my VHS movies that I hope to get transferred to DVDs someday. And then I also do have a few DVD movies here and there. I have this ceramic pig because I was obsessed with the movie Babe when I was growing up, and my grandpa bought it for me, and my uncle actually painted it. It for me and then I have this Barbie here she's a ballerina Barbie and I just keep her there because I don't want any of my like nieces and brothers playing with her so I just keep her up there and then obviously these are all my wallets I just put them in a shoe box so I don't like lose them and they're not all over the place these are pantyhose or like tights whatever you want to call them I had to have these for choir so I just keep these up here because I don't wear them as often as I used to this is just a masquerade mask that I wore for Halloween a couple years ago, and it's broken. I need to super glue it, like, really, really badly, and it's so pretty. I just couldn't throw it away. Then I have a bunch of, like, headbands for, like, different holidays. Like, I have a witch hat one, an Irish princess one, and then bunny ears. I have a bunch of, like, cute hats, and then I have, like, snapback hats or whatever you want to call those. And then this is all my purses from here on down, and I said, sorry about the lighting, guys. It's really bad. I just can't capture it all. If you guys want a purse collection, let me know. I've never thought about doing one, but I will if you guys would like to see one. Then down here, all I have is dresses in the back because I don't wear dresses as often as I used to, but I do have quite a few dresses. And then I have like sweaters, cardigans, and um, hoodies right here. On these two hangers, I have scarves and beanies and just like, I have like a headband, a furry headband right there. Then right here I have a jewelry holder, which this was from my aunt, so I don't really know where she got it, but I have a lot of my jewelry here. And then this is from Marshalls. This is another jewelry holder, and I have a lot of jewelry there, as you can tell. Then I have this poster here that my dad got me from Walmart, and it's just really cute, and I love it. And I put it there so I can remember that I'm not a perfect girl when I'm getting dressed, but God still loves me. Down here, I have a couple of boxes. Um, I have a lot of room decorations for like Christmas, Halloween, Easter and stuff. So I kind of like trade out decorations and then put them back here in my closet. I have my hamper right there, which is from Walmart. And my clothes pile, guys. Yes, this is all my clothes. That's all full of clothes. Then I also have my dresser here, which is all full of clothes. And then, yeah, I have more clothes here. And over here, I just keep nice shirts, skirts, and that's basically it. <laughs> and then here I have my two shoe racks, and my two shoe racks are from Marshalls. I have a black one and a purple one, and these are just really nice. And I have a shoe collection video, so I will post that in the description below if you guys are curious. And then if you guys are wondering what these are, this is actually what 
my like sheets came in and then obviously I have like two pairs of Toms so that's what those came in and I keep these for when I travel because I don't want like my dirty shoes getting my nice clean clothes dirty so I put my shoes in here when I travel and they're just really nice to have and then down in this corner, which you guys probably can't even see, I just have school supplies and a couple of overnight bags for when I want to go sleep over. I have more shoes there on the ground. And I'm pretty sure that covers all of my closet. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you guys another little overview. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you want to see any other updated room tour or purse collection or jewelry collection. Anything you guys want to see, leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.